Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Sunspot counts hit seven-year high. 2022 ended with the highest monthly sunspot number in seven years. This plot from NOAA shows the ascending progression of solar cycle 25. For the 35th month in a row, solar cycle 25 is outperforming the official forecast. Conclusion, solar maximum will either happen sooner or be stronger than expected, possibly both. The next few years should have plenty of sunspots, solar flares, and CMEs. Geomagnetic Storm Watch Minor G1 class geomagnetic storms are possible on January 4 when a slow-moving CME is expected to hit Earth's magnetic field. It was hurled in our direction by an M3.7 class solar flare, in the magnetic canopy of sunspot AR3176 on December 30. Far side solar explosion. This morning, January 3 at 10.58 Coordinated Universal Time. Something exploded on the far side of the sun. The Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, recorded a bright CME billowing over the sun's southeastern limb. The source of the blast was probably old sunspot AR3163, which has spent the last two weeks transients the far side of the sun. It is due to return on January 4. Helioseismic echoes suggest that the sunspot has grown since we last saw it in December. It may present a threat for significant Earth-directed flares after it reappears tomorrow. Here it can be observed, on the LASCOC3 filter, as the CME expands out through space. And it looks like another CME starts to erupt at the 4 o'clock position on the sun. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye, on the sun for you. No.